welcome back to Portugal and our part two Lisbon experience. As you can see behind me, it's the city centre of Lisbon. What a beautiful place it is. And to my left, golf expert, Faldi. Faldi, what have we got coming up? Guys, we've got an amazing end to the trip. This evening, we're checking into the beautiful Dom Pedro Hotel and experiencing all that Lisbon has to offer. Tomorrow, we're setting off early to the fantastic Troia Golf Club, another brilliant Lynx course. On to Quinta Peru. Unfortunately, Nate, one more night, we're flying home. I didn't think it could get any better, but it's, it's getting better. You're going to love this. I can't wait. guys so last night we stayed in the heart of Lisbon at the Dom Pedro Hotel yet again a fantastic hotel and even better location the only thing I didn't like was Fordy's alarm clock blaring off at five o'clock this morning but you're excused because you brought me to this beautiful place where are we we're at the breathtaking Troya Golf Resort you can see by the views behind me the great link setting we're gonna love this and then later on we're heading to Quinta de Peru for unfortunately our last round of golf of the trip but tonight we're staying in the five-star Penalonga Resort. Five-star Penalonga Resort? Sounds like a bit of me that does. <laughs> to be honest, I can't pinpoint one signature hole on this golf course because they're all so good, but I'm on the 16th tee Par four, 400 yards with that backdrop. This one's pretty special, so I need to keep it on the fairway. Robert Trent Jones is a world famous golf course designer. He said if he could build his dream 18 holes, here, the third at Troyer, will be on it. Let's see if I can make him proud. Welcome to the beautifully tree-lined Quinta de Peru, only 30 minutes south of Lisbon, and as you can see, in incredible condition. Right, I'm off out to find Faldi, probably out there smashing 300 yard drives, only 20 yards shorter than mine, don't tell myself that. Well guys, here we are at the incredible five-star Penalonga Resort. And to say we slept well last night, it's an understatement. You can say that again, definitely five-star from me, uh, down to the beds, I like sleeping on clouds. I had the best curry of my life last night. Bold statement, but I'm gonna stick to it, it was unbelievable. And the service with a smile happens every time. Exactly. And if you want that luxury five-star experience, roughly 30 minutes from Lisbon, you're not gonna regret booking this place. All right, Faldi, need to try and find my ball from earlier on. It was a Callaway, and I'm running out of them rapidly. Faldi, when you told me we we're going to Portugal, I instinctively thought Villa Mora. Not like I've got anything against Villa Mora, I love it. But Lisbon, what an unbelievable place. The golf courses, the backdrop, the scenery. Did not expect it, even to the city of Lisbon. I've had the time of my life and I've got to thank you. What a great host you've been. Golf breaks, 
know what they're talking about, people. Nathan, it's been an absolute pleasure. I think the best thing to do now is show you the overall geography of Lisbon and the golf courses and hotels we've stayed at along this journey. To the north of Lisbon, we stayed at the Marriott Praia do Rey, and the golf courses we played in that area were Praia do Rey, West Cliffs, and Royal Ovidos. In the Cascais area, we stayed at the Penalonga Resort, and the golf courses we played in that area were Penalonga, Oitavas Dunes, and Belas. In Lisbon city centre, we stayed in the Dom Pedro Hotel. South of the city, we stayed at the Aruera Hotel, and the golf courses we played in that area were Quinta de Peru and Troya. What an experience. Right, time to top up the tan. Foldy, do the honours, my man. Foldy? Bad enough. Foldy! Foldy, come on, mate! He said we were brothers. Foldy, come back! <laughs>